Well, I'm so delighted to say that we're back to do some mana battles. I'm Day9. And I'm Rob Simpson. And man, Sean, you know, I heard that we're going to have a, a new mystery player participating in this particular match. That is correct. Given all the technical difficulties we were trying to overcome, we wanted to do a 4v4 and observe and talk about it, but we only managed to find one solution to be able to play on this map. And that's to have me in the playing seat. So let's go ahead and hop into the game as we are doing some random mana battles. And oh my god, my unit is the mothership. Oh man, and what better unit to have on this day? It is going to be an absolute madhouse up in here. As you can see, this is... Wait, we have Zergling Ghost Ghost Mothership. <laughs> yep, and you are going to be battling against Thor Thor Zealot Phoenix. Oh my god, okay. I mean, what's the best way to kill off... I guess the Zergling player is the one who's going to have to be killing them off. Uh, yes. I, I think I'm, I'm forced to cannon rush at you this point in time. I don't really are. see, I mean... Well, and that's one thing that we just, we didn't actually see very much of that yesterday. Illusion didn't default to getting his cannons out until he was already between a rock and a hard place. Whereas, oh, no. in most pub mana battles, you see so many cannon rushers. Now, I, I have to note that I, because I'm in observer mode, wait, I need to go to controls. I need to Top right. enable yeah. mouse scroll. Thank God. Oh, that feels so much better. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. Now you, want, right. now you want to have to use the arrows to scroll around or mouse wheel three. So <laughs> that is true. Good. There's my mouse wheel three scroll. Other than what? Uh, <laughs> now, yeah, just now we get a very so many unique, a, a unique insight into seeing the team communicate. We can see just how advanced all of their communication is. They've clearly practiced and played together before. That is true. I have been training with these players all tournament long by <laughs> watching them. And let's see. I mean, this really is Rhett's challenge. Can he transition to late game pretty much? Oh, wait. Rhett's, Rhett's a ghost player. Damn it. Okay. Oh. Well, that pretty much cancels that out. Let's go ahead and build this pylon. Well, this should be fun. Now, which player has, has the wings on your team? I think our lane player oh. is oh, okay. Chef. Okay, Chef. Okay, that is okay. great Oh, news. thank God. Okay. All right, so the simple strategy is feed Chef all of the minerals and have him kill all four other players. Okay, Chef, use Overlord. All right. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. It's time for me. I really need to be trying to do this as best as possible. Oh, my yes. gosh, it's a proxy game. Oh. Oh man, and Thorzane's going to be getting up there with his Zealots very soon, but now as Day 9 works around with his probe, he's going to be trying to get that proxy up in oh, there. Oh, it's Thorzane! That, oh, it's mm, Thorzane! Mm. Which is good news. Now because Thorzane went out there, he placed his proxy all the way across the map, he's not going to have any Zealots back at home to stop this. He could pull a lot of his probes to try to stop it. That's but, me trying to say, Chef! Oh. <laughs> chef! Help! Vision! <laughs> ah! Oh. I'm under attack. All right. And I'm pulling back, and I'm making probes at the same time. Yes. Now, ordinarily, I'll be trying to watch my mini-map, but... No point in worrying about that here. You're busy doing too many other things now. Oh! Looks like Thorzane is the Zealot Rusher. This is excellent if I can cut off his resources. Looks like Red is... Red's making pro another he's command Excellent, center. excellent, <laughs> excellent. It's exactly what we need right now. Well, you can protect your teammate with a well-placed planetary fortress. So that is true. All right. Fine. Minimum surface area, and he's... Oh, my God. He's utilizing the, mar the art of micro. How rude of him. All right. It looks like we're doing some serious zealot battling down in that bottom side. Let me go ahead and start getting some gas. We're going to be building a mothership soon. Where are all of those much-needed zerglers? We have to have Chef get down there and help a ton. Now, oh, okay, so the strategy was that Rhett was going to rush for getting two orbitals out and then just push minerals into Chef. I don't know why I stopped cannon rushing. That's actually a pretty bad... Bad decision by me. Let's go ahead and. That's okay. You know what? The window of opportunity here. Think... is still there because they can't build anything until they get to Thor anyway. Uh, nothing to see here, Sase. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and try to build another gateway. All right, gateway number one. Oh, uh oh. Probe died. Better send another probe. Oh, no. Oh, yes, they can. Of course you can make a planetary. It's a building. All right, it looks like oh, I'm... Maybe we can see the fabled planetary rush all the way across the map where you land four CCs simultaneously. Hey, I'm Grandmaster. I made a cannon rush. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, oh, shit. Me and Chef that. looking good. Thorzane continue to try to do a little bit of pushing action. I was trying to clean out the back at that base. And it's May just, as well. I mean, it's going to be different. Yes, you should have some defensive cannons in there because if you see too many zealots get out, Chef is so very much on the offensive. And this, Thorzane is the exact player that you wanted to stop with because he's the only one building tier one units. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do can rush round two. More cannons. Yeah, more cannons. Excellent. Let's go ahead and chrono boost that. I also will need. Whoa! 
let's go ahead and head back home. Let's build the cybernetics core. Excellent. Things are looking good. So, Sean, what, what's your, you know, what's your ultimate goal here? What are you doing to ensure that you do eventually make it to that mothership, or will we even see it? I'm hoping, I'm hoping we don't, because I don't really know how to deal with fours. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, the photon Uh oh. Okay. Chef, need vision. Overlord. <laughs> All right. Tell the other team. Good to go. All right. Let the other team know what's up. Your allies are oh, you know what? Let's build another cannon. All the cannons, man. Can I build all the cannons? You can, okay. and you're doing it. You absolutely have permission because anything is possible at the Red Bull land, especially in a Saturday night. Oh, Monday, canceled Monday. it. Okay. All right. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, come on. Get oh, there, good. get there, get there. Now, he's got just enough vision. He can absolutely destroy all of those workers. He's using some stuff. Oh, no, a Thor. Oh, oh no. God. He has a Thor up. Okay. Uh... Okay, well, Chef got in there. He is going to be able to eliminate a couple of those. And you, yes, now is the time to go for that mothership. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to hide a cannon back here. Oh, oh man. no. Phoenixes oh. are out as well. Phoenix is lifting. Okay, uh, good. We have Illusion okay. continuing to push up. And I hear he plays Terran from time to time. So this is going to be helpful. This Every once in a while. He pl plays Terran about 100% of Rhett, the time, you, you roughly. walled me in. Rhett, can you drop depots by my base, please? <laughs> Okay. Nice. This whole this whole Terran thing's a little bit unique. <laughs> you know what? Screw this. I'm building a Nexus here in case I actually need to get some probes out. Actually, that's you can I just expand. expand. Yeah, I could expand. There we go. All right. Oh, looks man. like the cannon rush is continuing. Which is, which is a wonderful play. That's fine. I guess I may. I mean, I may as well get this. <laughs> All right. I gotta. I gotta start cannon rushing some people. All oh, right. okay. Nice play from Chef. See? Getting in there with all of those Zerglings. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Morrow doing some real work. Unfortunately, it means that my cannon rush has basically been effectively denied, but yeah. you never know when there's, yeah, there, you never know when there's another place that you could cannon rush. Let me, oh, oh, let yes. me go ahead and move my probe down just now to make sure that there's no <laughs> supply block by my ally again. So we managed to maybe cripple Thorzane a little bit. Now let me go ahead and fleet beacon it up. All right, that's looking good. And now, so it's very possible that we're going to see that mothership, Sean. Now, when you get true. mothership in mod battles, does it mean that you can build more than one mothership? Uh, you know, it doesn't, unfortunately. That is one of the big downsides to, oh. What up, Hasuobs? Hey, nice mule, buddy. I'll be cannoning it soon. Too bad mules can't attack. Is there another expansion up here? Oh, man. There is a lot of stuff, but if you're quiet, you won't see All right, I'm gonna, next cannon rush. I'm going to need some extra units down here. All right, he's he's going to try to planetary fortress me, but I already know I already know the counter to planetary fortress and it's cannons. <laughs> All right, oh, I almost have a fleet beacon done. Oh, how did he know? Oh. How did he know? Why would he why would he suspect a thing? <laughs> why would he use his mini map ever? There's no point that that probe saw the base and was just going to walk away. Uh -oh. There's no way you were going to. Time to build a mothership. Yes. Oh, man. And if that mothership gets out there, it could very well be what your team needs to battle all of those Thors that are undoubtedly being pumped out right now. All right. Um, anyone need gas? Let me know. All right. That's actually probably what I should be doing in, in these feeding circumstances. Yes. yes. Because you can only build one really useful unit aside from aside from cannons, and you can only build one of them. That means that all of your resources uh, can go to the rest of the How do I team? tell you to a resource? Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, that okay. M wheel up. Also, I need minerals. Minerals. All right, let's go ahead and come back here. This is actually becoming pretty intense. <gasps> oh, 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 yes. oh, he, oh, he got that SCV. <laughs> Trading nukes for SCVs all day long. That's the illusion way. Oh, all man, right. yes, that cannon push is looking pretty good down there. Actually, Will Thorzen get out there to defend it? He's starting to move out with a couple of his zealots down on the minimap. Now we see those oh, no. Oh, no. the reign of terror. Oh. oh, no, there's just not enough of no, them. No, Thorzen no. says no. Little does he know, I'm going to have cloaked cannons there in a second. Come on, baby. Come on, mothership. Oh, just a few more seconds. Nuke him. Nuke him. Punish him. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and start getting some more gas from my wonderful friend, Illusion. Let me fill that there in case, of, I don't know, a Thor comes in and I'm having some, some concerns. Oh, good. There are so many lings out there right now. This is looking great. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, looks like Sasuke is going to try to do the lift, but... It looks like my cannon rushing me. Well, you can't lift, you know, all of the units when your opponents have a lot of links. Oh, hello, Just... Control Group 1. It's good to oh, see you. Yeah. Oh, swing up north. All right, it looks like Zergling's doing a lot of damage to the enemies up in the top side. Right, Chef's done a great oh. job keeping on the pressure for the entire game. 
I actually think just about two of their players are pretty much out of the game right now. How is he in Whoa. this? Oh. How is that still okay? Come on, sweetheart. Let's float to the left. Mm -hmm. Now, he doesn't have anything to stop that mothership. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. Will, will my pro make it to the cloaking field in time? All right, yes, looks like will. Oh, man, but those ghosts are going to come in. Now he's, he's got a great window of opportunity to just destroy the space. And if you stop the space, that's Thorzane's last mining base, I think. Unless he has some secret things up in the top right, I'd really like to see a little bit of vision up there. Oh, we seen a sneaky comes. proxy. Oh, here it comes, Rob. I'm so excited. GG. Oh, oh my God, oh, he just taps out. Oh, whoa. Oh, get him the Vortex. Get him the yes. Oh, wow. Clearly your team won because you had green, and today is St. Patrick's Day. Oh, a, a point well taken, Robert. Mm -hmm. it looks Check like I'm going to keep going can. Who's, who is in this game still? Morrow, Morrow's hanging in there, man. He's going to, he's going to do his oh, darn yes. Oh, excellent. So, you know, I, I, I'm honestly going to, going to, I'm going to build more cannons. Where's my probe? Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, man. You just got to get up there and, like, kill Morrow, man. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that's, I think that's the solution here. And it looks There's like, so oh, yes, units. where where is Morrow? Where is his stuff? I mean, I think that, okay. Hidden top right, man, we don't know what, we don't know what's going on I top right. I think if right. I build, mm, if I could build there, I could stretch the cannon there. So I guess I'll try to begin the cannon rush from the bottom That's side. That's all right. Plenty of minerals. You can make it happen. Easy, easy. easy. Let me go ahead and actually just 1A in to his single base. Oh, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Morrow, it's not good. Oh, oh the EMP, the scan. Oh, the EMP, the scan. Wow. He's trying to live. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, he's surrounding. Oh, the dance surround new plan. Oh, yes. The best finish to any mono battle possible. And there's the GG. Wow. Oh. My goodness. <laughs> what a crazy game. That was slick. Oh, man. See, dude, those tier one units in mono battles. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. The tier zero unit, the, the photon cannon. Right. Ended up working out Always quite well. pretty effective. It, way to uh. think on your feet there. Weren't sure if you were going to be able to get to the mothership. Mm but still pulled it through. Now, I, I, I want to just note that th at this point, the most important thing to do is to look at the graphs. Let's go ahead oh, and, yeah. and, and check that graph out. Um, if we go look at the in-game graphs of the army value... This, you, is, this is really where the story of the game is told. Yeah, you know, if we actually just do this... I'm going to get Thorazane out of here. Oh, yeah, look at that. This is Thorazane's army value. This is the period before the mothership. This is the period after the mothership, and this is the period where people are becoming increasingly intimidated. <laughs> I'm really liking that. So that's that's, and, and you know, Thorzane, he is strictly below me. So that's uh huh. I'm, I'm always pleased. Good. That's with that. exactly where you want your opponents to stay. And that's no. the best place to best Ooh. time to kick them when they're down is when they're already losing to you. Well, let's go ahead and, and bring everyone back into the graph and go ahead and check out what the resource collection rate was like. It looks like no one really committed to mining in this no, game. No, not at all. I think that Rhett really did a great job getting in there and feeding Chef. We can see that Chef didn't have to work on his minerals at all because he had mules carrying him as mm. a Zerg player, and that's always pretty comfortable. That's a fairly effective thing to note. Now, of course, I'm, I'm very impressed with Maro, who is under some serious tension all game long, and you see his yeah. resource collection is actually doing pretty well all game long, but there was this moment, there was this moment, there was this moment where he got nuked, and it's... I mean, you'll notice it's a cliff where he falls off and dies. Wow, it looks like he ended up not even showing up onto the graph. Looks like, yeah. Yeah, everyone kind of had the same. There, there, there were a couple of uh, <laughs> us dipping players. Well, that that's okay. That's why the graph stopped, because it was such a stark drop that it can't even show the line. <laughs> that's true. In fact, if we remove the players who uh, used something known as skill in the game, we see the four guys <laughs> who hung in there as best we could. Uh, Hasu, I believe, was cannon rushed. Thorazane was certainly cannon rushed. I was totally uh -huh. there for that. This is Sase, who uh, in one game went Phoenix and got cannon rushed, and yesterday six pooled. Uh-huh. That's right. So he got what was coming to him. Yeah, he really needs to work on, I guess, his mono battle techniques. But either way, I'm still deeply embarrassed to have him have overarched me for that period of time. Oh, so shucks. ladies and gents, we just got done with the team mono battles of the day. So we're going to be right back in just a second. We come back. We're closing out the show. Day two of the Red Bull LAN. We'll see you in a sec. I'm Day 9. And I'm Rob Simpson. We'll see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>